Hey guys, it's John, and today we're going to be looking at an upcoming horror game called Through the Woods. It's on Kickstarter right now. There's a link to that in the description. And they were kind enough to send me a little prototype to play. So, here we go. Oh, you press enter. Sorry. Just instinctually used my mouse. Through the Woods is a work in progress. This alpha version does not represent the final quality of the game. This is Christian Peterson speaking, and I'm sitting here with Karen Dahl, the mother of the missing boy, Philip Dahl Erickson. Tell me about, um, what was his name again? Old Nick? Do you mean Old Eric? Right. Old Eric. Sorry. I always thought he was this urban legend. You know, go to bed or Old Eric will come and take you. That is until I saw him with Philip, before he took him from me. Just for the record, you saw old Eric kidnap your son? <sighs> yes. Since there weren't any other light sources on the island, my eyes adjusted to the dark quite quickly. On the other hand, I could only spot the reflectors with a flashlight. Hmm. It, uh, it's actually difficult to see. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there we Flicker. go. That helps. Yeah, for some reason he likes collecting them. Reflectors, huh? So, I think the idea of the game is that, uh, the narration is taking place in the future, and you're getting a visual representation of what happened. So, they'll be narrating what happens as it happens in the game as you're controlling it. So, uh, let's grab this reflector, I guess. Oh, it's, uh... Why didn't you pick it little up? bear. There wasn't any reason to bring it with me. Huh. Okay, so we're not actually collecting it. When I saw the second one, I knew it was him. He was leaving the reflectors behind so I could follow him. I wonder what engine this is made in. It looks very Unity, but I'm not sure. Okay, so we found another one. Uh, let's keep going. You can sprint with shift. Tell me about the forest. It's... It's hard to put into words, really. It wasn't just the forest, but the darkness on the island itself. It felt thicker. Almost alive. I was a threat to it, and I didn't belong there. I like this <laughs> this beanie she has, or whatever you call those things. Looks like a hipster. All right, so we found another one. This one's uh, strung up. Looks like he had some time to do that. And we'll go off to the left. Full moon out. Hope there are no werewolves in this game. Actually, I hope there are. Uh, there probably aren't. But uh, werewolves are one thing that haven't been done properly in a horror game. Um, in fact, I can only think of one game that could be classified as horror with... Uh, Werewolves as a monster in them. Uh, it's a mid '90s uh, '90s PC game called Nocturne. Throughout our previous conversations, Karen, I couldn't help noticing that you hardly speak about your son's father. Why is that? I've told you everything that's worth mentioning about him. He just calls to check up on us every now and then, whenever he's sober enough. Hmm. When did he last try to contact you? He actually stopped by for Christmas last year. Uh, he had a gift for my son, this this bright orange bubble jacket. I thought it was hideous. About a week or so later, I bought my son this new, really cool winter coat. I, I thought he would love it. But he will not, for the love of God, stop wearing his stupid bubble jacket. The voice actress, I'm not sure who she is, but she sounds like, uh, the lead voice actress from Brave. 
Uh, also on Boardwalk Empire. Probably not her, but kind of got that tone in her voice. The voice acting is good so far. So we've been walking a long time. Maybe we should start sprinting a little bit. The flashlight does move up and down when she runs, but it's not obnoxious like in some games, <laughs> like white noise. At least I think that's the one I'm thinking of. All right, how many of these things does he have? Seems like he has quite a pocket full. Excuse me. Been hearing some rustling in the bushes this whole time. Not cool with it. Since these stones appear so often on the island, I think they're a good reference point to go back to if I get something wrong in my story. Uh, does that mean that uh, there's a safe point? There might be a, a checkpoint where, like, something wrong in her story, meaning she dies. Uh, you know, if you, the player, you know, get wrecked by a monster or something, that would make sense. You know. No, no, that's not how it happened. Let me start over, that type of thing. Okay, we found another one. They're all green. Interesting. So, if we have the flashlight off, they're invisible. Well, they're not invisible, but you know. You can't see them nearly as well. I guess that's because they're reflectors. Philip! Okay, we've got a fork in the road. Let's go to this cabin. Doesn't appear to open. Maybe there's a window we can peer into. Oh, no. Cabins in horror games do not have uh, windows. Of course not. And if they do, it's because something's about to pop up at you. Which, uh, the developers said that they, uh, weren't really keen on jump scares. Or, uh, they were to be used sparingly, at least. Okay. So, wait. Oh, there's an... Th this is another one right here. So, we've come upon, uh, a set of these. Okay, this one's not open either. I'm gonna guess it's the same model, so no windows. Available. Maybe there's a back door though. Okay, never mind. We're gonna ditch that because we found another reflector here, so obviously he's nearby. Or this is where at least he was taken. Huh. So this used to be a house just like the others, but uh got broken into. rather large compared to the other two or maybe they're all that deep and I just wasn't able to see the whole way around uh, interesting okay so there was a door there for another room but it wasn't able to be opened here's another destroyed home yeah, it looks like a tornado tore through here got another reflector so this way There's a shield. What is this? Does there used to be a swing right here, probably? Looks like a swing set. One is. Ooh, you can see inside. It appears to be empty, though. Ooh, we can see inside this one. These are like uh these are like Lincoln log houses, man. I used to play with Lincoln logs when I was a kid. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe we go this way. Yeah, there's another reflector over here. That covered up well. Alright, so you want me to go in here? We can 
do Philip? can do that. I think. Hmm. What? Ominous creek. Anyone here? Well, they must have sprinted away immediately in order to make that. Okay. Yeah, you know. I don't like that breathing. Can we take this axe? It'd be good. Be good if we could take this axe. Okay, I guess not. There's something breathing outside, but forget it. Let's not take that weapon standing right in front of us. Cool. Um, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll not go that way. Instead, we'll go over here. Who needs an axe when you've got a flashlight, right? Okay, here's another, uh... Can't open this. Okay, yeah. Appears to be another side room like that. Okay, um, let's see. Maybe we go up here? A little hill. Um, it doesn't seem to be anything up here. Except this tree. People might consider some windows. Could be a... Could be a wise decision. What is this? Some sort of uh, hieroglyphic. Game kind of reminds me of Dread Out, just in the feel and everything. It's kind of like a like a European Dread Out. What was that? How about no? How about no? Um, I'm against going that way. Okay, let's let's head into the cave. I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's go in there. That seems like a great idea. Uh, terrific. Is there a rock slide to seal me in? I'm not sure what that was, but I don't think I want to know probably probably for the best what the okay uh those are called roots unless you were saying what that about this thing looks like a a doll you know soccer ball Symbols of uh, childhood innocence around. There's another shield. This kid's really into that How stuff. Would you describe what you saw in the cave? It was horrifying. Filled with toys and clothes left behind by children. Children taken away from their homes, away from their parents, by him. This was a tomb of their last memories. That sucks. It's not a, not a cool thing at all. Guy's a, guy's a sicko. His problems. No, 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 no. You found your son's jacket in there. Tell me, how did that make you feel? What I felt was fury. 
I became obsessed with hurting him. I wanted to tear him apart. I wanted to kill old Eric. Interesting. All right, well, that was... Uh... That was the first look at Through the Woods. Uh, once again, there is a link to their Kickstarter in the description if you'd like to contribute, um, help back the game. Um, I believe there's about 10 days left on the Kickstarter, so plenty of time. Uh, yeah, as for the thoughts that I have in my brain, um, it's difficult to assess, obviously, from uh, how long? 10 minutes? Uh, 15 minutes of gameplay? But um, I liked what I saw. Uh, like I said, the nearest... Uh, parallel I could draw would be uh, it's kind of like uh, like a European version of Dreadout and I enjoyed Dreadout so um, if it kind of um, draws upon uh, you know folklore and mythology kind of like that game did and um, and, and does it in a, in a similar manner I think that, that that's pretty promising so uh, yeah hard to say um, what the quality of the game is going to be like obviously this is an alpha build and it's only you know 15 minutes of gameplay but uh, yeah not bad um, I don't know what that thing was that was following me if there any if there even was anything following me I didn't really give it much of a chance but uh, yeah so you know I, I normally don't like doing demos because it's hard to get a feel of the game and it's hard to you know tell if it's if it's worth playing or not but uh, Leave a comment and let me know uh, what you guys think uh, about the limited experience that we had. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll see you guys later. Think critically.